today's video I'm actually going to be doing the uh, cartridge swap to the spin-on conversion. Make sure you drain your oil before doing this. Alright, so you're going to take off four bolts. The first one's going to be this one, the second one's going to be the one on top. Then you have the other two. One, two, and then after you do that, you gotta take this sensor off. So I'm gonna use an open-ended wrench for that one. But before you do that, make sure you remove any oil that's in there all right guys so this is going to be a six millimeter or six size six allen key I'm going to want to turn this all right so as you can see hopefully you guys have a uh, can here or a pan so this should be loose now You can see there's an O-ring there. You can see the oil sipping out slowly. Let it drain. Just let the oil drain. Then we'll get to the next part. There's a bolt that sits on top of the oil cooler. This guy right here. That guy right there. Let me see if I could show you. You can't see it. Because it's hidden, so you have to use your hand. But with the power of a camera. I got right there. That should be a 15. I'll double check in a second. Okay, so that top bolt. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it with this or not, but. So that top bolt that's up there for the oil cooler. So that's gonna be a 15 millimeter. I'm using a uh, swivel, swivel ratchet, open-ended um, wrench. I'll show you in a second how it looks, but. Okay, so that tail bolt, keep in mind that if you start loosening it, you might get some oil coming out of this plug. So I have, you know, you can see I have it open for a reason to remove all the oil as much as possible. So it doesn't make a mess on the floor. But I'm going to continue removing that ball on the top and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so before I remove the ball all the way, let me see if you can see it now. Let's see if I have a better picture. There it is. So that's the ball you got to remove. Now I'm actually unscrewing it by hand, so it's almost out. Alright, so with that top ball, I'll show you in a second once I'm able to get this out how that bolt looks but it's a long bolt but once you have it loose you can see all that oil that's there but if you turn this a little bit you could get some of it out through the drain right here I'm gonna go ahead and just move this up to get to the top bolt and the bolt on the other side as well so I'm using a small ratchet. I think it's a one-fourth ratchet. And what I went ahead and did is push that 
oil cooler a little bit to the left or towards the bumper to get some to get this to go on there now I'm gonna remove that bolt on the top side you want to be very careful because it's it may seem like you're able to do it without doing all this but the socket won't grab that good and you run the risk of stripping the bolt which you don't want so what I ended up doing is I use a 3 8 breaker bar ratcheting breaker bar that worked better so that's gonna come off relatively soon here So what I'm going to try to do is remove this housing or this adapter or I mean this assembly and probably do this by hand off the car unless I can figure out if I could do it in a second here. We'll see. So as you can probably tell I try my best to remove all the oil but obviously it's not going to remove everything. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put this on or take this off with this assembly. If not, I'm gonna just order a new one because this one looks like crap. But when you put the new one on, make sure you buy yourself a new gasket because this is the old one. Right here. So the new gaskets in the back, this is um, trash or for sale if anyone wants to buy it. I'm going to clean these bolts up. And uh, put the new assembly on. And this works off the car so you can take it off. You can take this off when you have this off. Okay, so here, here's a new one. That plug's gonna, or that sensor's gonna go over right here in this port. And then that one bowl that's for the oil cooler goes on top. All right, so I went ahead and I cleaned this a little bit. You can see. I also uh, put new Teflon tape and then I put uh, anti-seize, as you can see right there. I cleaned this up a little bit. It's not focusing, but I cleaned those up a little bit. And I'm using this guy. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and start putting this on and connecting the connector for the sensor and everything else. All right, so I went ahead and I put some of the anti-seize on this. This is a high heat and vibration based. So it should withstand the pressure that these will go under. Start putting these bolts on. I have the get the new gasket. Here's a new gasket for the new. And it only goes one way, so and you can tell it has like a little bevel. And one side's pressed in and the other side it pops out. Uh, I believe the side that pops out is the one that goes against the motor or the block. I'll check here in a second, but the orientation is, it won't allow you to put this wrong. So let me go ahead and start putting this up. All right, so it's almost in. I got all the bolts on. After that, it's just a matter of trying to align that one top bolt for the oil cooler. You can see the bolt sticking out of it. So. That's going to be the next step. And we'll see in a second here how that's going to go. And then don't forget about this connector. Just put it to the side for now. That's the one that goes on here, but you don't want to connect it now because it might be in the way. Just FYI. Alright, so I was able to put it back in. The way I had this set was I had this behind there. I don't know if you noticed. And I had it in a slight angle, and then I moved the bottom only 
to kind of put the screw in its place and it actually was able to pop in itself so right now I'm turning it by hand <laughs> so you're able to turn it by hand first and then when you're ready or when you think you're not able to do it anymore just go ahead and grab your uh, 15 millimeter uh, angled ratchet wrench and you should be able to tighten it up so everything should look just like this I have the connector and everything connected and I gotta go and buy some oil because I I didn't buy no oil so I'm gonna go ahead and go buy some oil and then I'll be right back and throw some oil on this thing and then turn it on and try to cycle some oil through probably get like six quarts uh, just to compensate for uh, the oil that came out of that oil cooler just in case um, and yeah I'll be right back okay so I put some oil you guys are wondering I'm running platinum Penzo 1030 so go ahead and put this oil filter on and start filling it up okay so I don't think I showed what I use so I have this long breaker bar which is a ratchet one it's a 3 8 um, I used a long socket don't I use that one I use that socket for the for the rear of the oil pan bolt and I use this one mainly for the front for the adapter plate or the assembly I should say and then I also use a 1 8 or a 1 4 I believe um, ratchet with a movable head and a long socket but I use a uh, 3 8 one to break the nuts off and since this has more leverage it's like an extra I should just say including the movable head or ratchet um, open-ended wrench and then just a typical socket box and then uh, lubricant for anti seize it's pretty much really all I use very simple tools here that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and then uh, yeah I should pretty much call this a an easy a quick install or pretty much the end of the video um, it's gonna start it up Let's check for any leaks the basic you know checkups when you're installing something um, yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you soon I have a lot of stuff I gotta do with this car that I haven't had time to do because of school and other, and other things around life so um, stay tuned to that and uh, if you're still supporting the channel thank you so much Hopefully you guys are having a good day and uh, peace out.